Hey guys, haven't been on YouTube for a while. Um, I got a job where I'm and working full time, and I just haven't had a chance to uh, get a video out or do a project to, to get the video out. Um, I just come home tired, and, but I finally got around to getting something done. Uh, this is uh, was originally going to be a uh, junk journal or a frilly one, you know, like I do. But, uh, it ended up being something different, you know, so. What I did was I used, uh, le the legacy paper from Authentique. I used these three size envelopes and two of the 6x9, which I don't have any left to show you. For, you know, the ones from the dollar store. And, uh, a cigar box like this that I got from Goodwill. And, uh... Let's see, I uh, had some uh, white uh, sample paint that you get from Lowe's. And so what I did was I just painted all the envelopes I was going to use. And I painted the um, cigar box white so it's all like a clean palette to start with. And uh, so this is what I ended up coming up with. I'm going to step back so you can see. So it's a journal in a box, <laughs> is what it is. And uh, this is what it looks like from the side. So I'll take them out and show you different ones. So this one, this one was using the, I used a cla uh, clip here. This is the one where you use the, I used that envelope for the bottom, or the, you know, base. I'm trying to set it up so you can kind of see. Well, it's not going to work out, so anyway. This is, you know, them, and then I did a belly band on this one. And this one, it's just, I, the, behind the, I put one of the smaller envelopes in the back of here. And then I did tuck stuff in here. And, uh, you know, belly band. And then this is the six, this is the six by nine here, which I glued to the back of the base envelope. These pictures I got from Rhonda Lee. Thank you, Rhonda. And this is all tucked back in behind it. Same as here, but for some reason this doily tuck spot isn't working at all. I didn't put anything on my tags because I'm probably going to be writing on them. So I just left them blank. And then, uh. This closes up. Only one of them on. Only one of them I did the. Uh, I'm not going to try to put the clasp on because it'll take eons. All right, and this is the ones with the. Uh, let's see. The, the two other size tags in them. So this is the base envelope. And then uh, I did a uh, picture f or. Uh, one of these is kind of things from an uh, old book. And then I put all the tags and stuff in here and got a little lady on there. And then this one, or the small envelope and the medium one. And then the, the, the small envelope is the like tuck spot. And then you put stuff in here and I just put stuff behind here that it, I could pull out and write on if I want to. Um, and all the envelopes in the here have uh, coffee stain uh, composition, notebook paper. I just stained the whole, I, I thought I'd stain the whole book at once without taking out any of the paper. Don't do that because it's just a mess. Okay, and uh, then this is the only one I did the back to, but it was all the, you know, it started catching on the other envelopes when they're all in the, all in the, box so I just didn't do it to any others because it's like I didn't want to have that okay that's not going to work either all right and then this one same thing that's just a small envelope and uh you know pictures there's another ones in the tuck spots and what I like about doing these kinds of journals is because I like to look at my fingernails are terrible I haven't ugh. Anyway, um, 
I like seeing that, like, he could flip the page, and it looks like just pretty pages and, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, hidden in there is your journaling, like your secret diaries inside, you know. But I like that. I like not seeing the writing, but it's all the writing's there, you know what I mean? And spots there, and envelope again, and these were tags I had made that I just had sitting around, and so I put them on here, and, uh... This is the other six by nine. So, and then here, I, how lazy is that? I just uh, didn't even clip off the thing, but. <laughs> and that's the back. Three. And this is the last one. And then this one. Use a lot of buttons in this, these things. And the, the ephemera or whatever, a lot of it's from the Tim Holtz ephemera. I think one's traveling. I don't know. The other one was Emporium, I think. So that's a tuck spot there. Then the two envelopes. Yada yada. And then there's another one of those uh, clips I did. But I just took the clip off and then just put a button there. And anyway, so that's that. And then I'll show you the. This is the front. I'll bring it down, and I use one of those, uh, I'm going to try to do this, yeah, that ain't going to work, this is one of those arty cake, uh, things, got these flowers, I got all them from the dream, uh, dollar dream too, and, uh, just did the zipper and the picture behind it, which I got on, the pictures that you see like this in there were from just, uh, Free online, you know, free download images. Some lace, some whatever. And here's some more of the ephemera. Anyway, so that's that. So that was, that's my, uh, hopefully first project and, uh, some more going on. And, you know, now that I'm just gonna, cause it's like if I waited to, to, uh, not be tired or not, you know, want to do anything, you know, it'll never get done. So this is my first, hopefully, of many, if I could even get them in the, yeah. But I like the way it turned out. And I like, what I like is, even though my house is, you know, what's funny, I do all this vintagey looking stuff and my house is nothing vintage. So it's always trying to find a place for it, you know, but I just think it would have been a, be a cute, uh, you know, not coffee table, but in table little thing, you know, that's what it looks like. You know, seeing it from the side, I just thought it was cool. Anyway, so just, just it's just, it's really just a different take on uh, your journals, you know, something a little bit different. I didn't, you know, uh, it, I just like the way it turned out, and you don't have to do, you know, it's easier to do one at a time, and you can take your time just doing the one to the next, to the next, to the next, and however many you can fit in a box, but, um, you know, it's just something different to do, so hopefully you guys will give it a try. I'll talk to you later.